What's up everyone? Welcome to part two in our Vue.js tutorial series. Here we're going to be covering Vue instances. We're going to learn about what they are and how to use them effectively to interact with HTML elements. So what is a Vue instance? This is a way to attach Vue functionality to an HTML element. So this kind of allows for fine control over specific parts of a page. One of the main benefits to using Vue.js is that you can kind of piece by piece build up the page and attach specific functionality to each of those components. That means you're not trying to control the whole page, you're actually just controlling one part of the page at a time. Well by attaching view functionality to each individual HTML element or each component of the page, you can get a fine control over what goes on there. So the idea here stems from the MVVM design pattern. If you have any familiarity with that, essentially the model view view model design pattern kind of brings an almost object-oriented approach to uh, JavaScript programming. So essentially what we do is we attach the HTML elements after we of course create the view instance. We pass in data, functions, lifecycle events, etc. to the view element and then or view instance rather and then that communicates directly with the HTML element. All we need to do is an att attach an ID. So here we're going to start by creating an HTML element. It'll just be a simple div. We're not building anything fancy here. We're then going to create our view instance and we're going to essentially attach the two. So we won't worry about populating the view instance with data or using that data at all. Here we're just basically performing the basic setup. So let's head on over to our code. If you remember, this is where we left off last time. I am also going to start a new window here. Okay, and this will just ensure that when I go to run my file, I can just kind of run it and it will display here. So what I'm going to do in the body is just start off with a basic div pretty simple stuff. Um, for now it can just say hello world, we'll put the classic there. Um, if we go to actually run this we make sure we save it. So it's just a command S to save or you can go to save here. Windows I think is control S instead of command S. We're going to go back to Chrome. Oh actually we're going to go to finder. I'm just going to run this index.html and this is essentially all it is. just says hello world. Cool stuff. So let's go back to our text editor. Okay, so it's a good idea when we're using um, Vue.js to be specific about each of our texts. For example, if I am managing some text here, I might want to put this in a span element or in a paragraph element. I'm actually just going to put this in a paragraph element like so. Um, again, the difference is paragraphs will go one on top of the each other. Span will kind of put things all in one line. It's more an inline versus a block idea. Okay, so we've got this down. Um, we should, however, give this div an ID. This is the div that we want to be communicating with view.js um, and the view instances. So I'm going to give this an ID. This is just going to be our first div. Okay, cool stuff. So within script, this is where we're going to be placing our view functionality. Now, to create a new view instance is very similar to how we would create objects in a language like Java, for example. So we would create our variable. Let's just call this uh, first div view. And, uh, or, you know what, let's, let's just call it first view, actually. And we're going to set this equal to a new instance of view, like so. So this is now creating a view instance stored in first view. And within this view instance, it's where we put all of the data, all of the functionality, it's where we attach the HTML element. Essentially, it's where we put all of the body of this instance. So this is treated like an object, and its innards are treated like a dictionary or like a JavaScript object. So it's essentially a bunch of key value pairs, or you can think of it as like variables and their values. So this is essentially called the options object and is just a way to kind of build up the view and specify all the different bits and pieces. So we're actually just going to work with a really simple component of this, which is going to be the element. Now this is what's called an instance variable because EL or element is common to all instances of views. We're going to talk more about that concept in some of the later tutorials. Just note for each of the views you build, it's pretty a uh, pretty common starting point to attach the HTML element. So in our case, all we need to do is actually provide the ID. Just like we would access in CSS, we do the pound sign or the number sign, and then the ID, so in this case, first div. You could also do it by class name like this, but obviously we're using elements here, uh, or rather we're using IDs in this case. 
Okay, so that's pretty much all we want to do for now because we're going to be talking more about passing in data and variables in the next section. I do quickly want to uh, just refresh the structure of how view is formatted. So again, this is kind of like an object. This is kind of called the options. Everything that goes in here is the options object. You could create your options object outside. For example, you could create it here, say options is equal to this, okay, and then start it up that way. Um, I find it just better to put the options right in here. There's no point in creating outside. Um, and they're all going to be kind of this, this key value pairing kind of format, it's just like a dictionary or a map or a general JavaScript object. So element is one of the attributes or one of the keys. Um, another key which we'll be exploring in the next section is going to be data. This is how we basically pass in all of the um, variables and all of the data that this view might need. As well, this gives us a chance to pass in functions, although this would be under something different than data, but you get the basic picture. So all of the attributes of view are set according to these keys. Um, there are a lot of built-in stuff that's called the instance variables and instance functions. We'll talk more about that in a couple of sections. However, for now, just take note of the fact that our first view is attached to our first div. There's nothing really to display right now, but that's what we're going to be focusing on in the next section. Okay, so that's it for now. In the next part, we'll be passing in data and using that data in our HTML element. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.